show me one verse, only one statement anywhere in your Bible, any version of the Bible where Jesus says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. And by God, even tonight. Even tonight, if Pastor Stanley can open his Bible and tell me, he said, come on, read John 1.1. 1, 1. So what does it say? Does it say in the words of Jesus, I am God, worship me? No. What does it say? That John is saying, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Ask Christian scholars, where did John get these words from? Decades before John, a Greek philosopher by the name of Philo, in his philosophy he wrote this formula. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, which John copied into his Gospel. Gospel of St. John. And I have been asking learned Christians, I said, sir, you are a DD, doctor of divinity. You see the word God, the first time that God occurs in that verse, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. I'm asking, what is the Greek word there for God? You are a Christian of the Greek scriptures. You know Greek. You ought to know Greek. The basis of your religion. You have manuscripts were all in Greek. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and the 27 books of the New Testament were only available in Greek. In the Greek language, what is the word for God? Can you help me, sir? Elohim. No, sir, that's Hebrew. <laughs> you see, person gets angry now. Because of your clapping, he's going to get angry. He's going to lose his temper. Please, take it easy. Please take it easy. Don't clap too much, because you know, in the next 10 minutes, we don't want to have any fireworks here. We want peace, quiet. Uh, the word is theos. Theos in Greek means God, and the word there is hotheos. Hotheos means the God. Now, according to the system of the Western nations, when they have a proper noun, they start with the capital. Proper noun. Common noun, small g. Proper noun, capital G. God, for God. So there, in the translations, you have got God with a capital G. Accepted. That's your system. In Hebrew and in Greek, there is no such thing as capital letters and there's no such thing as small letters. And in Arabic also, no capital letters, no small letters. But in your Western system, you have capital letters and you have small letters. So there, the word the God stands for God Almighty. So we have the capital G-O-D, God. And the word was God. That second word God, in Greek, sir, is tontheos. Tontheos in Greek means a God. A God should have a small g. According to your system, A God means any God. That's not a proper noun. So you must have a small g. So I'm asking, why have you put a capital G again? Come on, explain. You are cheating somebody. First time, capital G, valid, acceptable. Second time, it should be a small g. Why have you put another capital G? You're creating a different meaning, that this is the God Almighty. A God means godly. You see, in the book of Corinthians, you read there, and the devil is the God of this world. He is the God. Hotheos, in Greek. But you give him a small g, I want to know why. If it is Hotheos, the God, according to your system, sir, your scholars ought to give a capital G to, for God to the devil. But no, 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 no. You see, you are playing fast and loose with these manuscripts. You translate them as you like. 
Then, in the Old Testament, God Almighty speaks to Moses. He tells him that, Behold, I have made you a God to Pharaoh. That's Elohim. I have made you a God. And I want to know now, why have you given a small g? The devil ought to have a capital G, you give him a small g. Moses ought to have a capital G, you give him a small g. Where did you get the small g's and the capital g's from? It's not in Hebrew, not in Greek. This is what you want to believe and what you want the people to believe. This is not honest translation. So, I say again, in the words of Jesus, these are not the words of Jesus. What does he say? Jesus says, my father is greater than I. I'm quoting him. My father is greater than I. He says again, my father is greater than all. He says again, I can of my own self do nothing. I'm quoting, sir. What you have been quoting was Hebrews and so on and so on. I said, what? Philippians and who else? I said, who is this? Philippians, Galatians, Corinthians, Thessalonians. Who is that? Who is it? Jesus? No, it's Paul, 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 Paul. I want to know what my master Jesus says. I love him. I respect him. I revere him. I want to follow him. But I want to know what he said. Give me his words. Not what some, somebody else, what he thinks, or what it ought to have meant, or what it was implied. Mm -hmm. Religion, salvation, of my salvation does not depend upon people's interpretations, yours or mine, or anybody's. I want to know what did the master say. He said, the word you hear, the words you hear are not mine. But the father that sent me, he had given me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. Even as the Father had said unto me, so I speak. So what he spoke was the truth. Jesus, what he said is the truth. Maybe you understand things differently, but I'm prepared to abide by that. 